Good evening, friends. Uh, sorry, I'm just starting. Hope your day's been well. And looking forward to some some more prep tonight. We're just going to play some showdown games. Get ready for Series 5 coming on the first. Try some new stuff out that we've got access to in the format. So it should be a lot of fun. We had a good night on Monday playing, playing expanding force trick room stuff. So uh, I feel like, well, we could play that a little bit more, but it's nice to try other things out for sure. Um, and uh, if you want to... Um, if you want to feature anything tonight, if you've got any teams that you want to see um, played or anything like that, just let let me know. It would be uh, it'd be good good to get some suggestions. So I'm just gonna send a quick tweet out about the stream, and uh, we should be should be live. Hopefully we are. Hopefully we are. Um, and then we'll just kick into it. I'm gonna try and make this a little bit smaller so I can actually see the chat when it comes. Cause the other night, I need to sort out an overlay for a uh, showdown with streaming. Um, okay, what do we got? We're still pretty low ladder. We haven't really used this alt since Monday. So we just had a bunch of games Monday with it. See how high we can climb with it. This week at least, and probably next week before the rules actually implement. Right, let's have a look what we got. We got Bolton, uh, is that? Things hidden, hidden ability released. It's got strong jaw, right? I'm pretty sure it has. Can't see any information on it. Incineroar, Rillaboom, uh, Blastoise, probably G Max, Togekiss, and. Okay. Um, okay. I think we want a Rain Call for sure. P2, and. Ooh. Could go on Moongus here. Kind of want to bring Rhyperia though. Let's go for that. Romy, how are you doing? Hope you're well. <laughs> Thanks so much for the sub, Romy. Hope you're doing well and uh, enjoy the stream with us tonight. It's been a while. It has been a while. Look at this shiny Rillaboom. Shiny Bolton. What are we going for? Uh, well, let's go. Helping hand into Kingdra and let's max and go airstream into a Rillaboom. Is it going to max as well? No, the Bolton is. That's surprising. We should get rid of the Rillaboom here. Johnny, how are you doing, my friend? I hope you're well. We should get rid of the boom. Boom, boom. Hope you all, hope you're all well. Hope you've all had a good day. Hey, we got news today, didn't we? We got some big news today. <laughs> Pokemon Unite. Just dropping by for a bit. Well, a bit is great. A bit is better than nothing at all, isn't it, Romy? We're just going to be spamming. We're literally going to be spamming rain tonight. Do we take the... We should take another ball turned it time. <laughs> Kingdra's just disgusting, right? I mean, it's fine. We've got, we've got Rhyperia in the back, so... I, I think we're going to be fine. Uh, I'm already tired at 9 p.m. It's been a rough couple of days. Ah, uh, that sucks to hear. Well, I hope things start to uh, turn around for you very soon. Um, yeah, that sucks. And I know the feeling. Tired at 9 p.m. I definitely feel you there. Johnny, doing pretty good. Too bad for my Pokemon thing. <laughs> Pokemon Unite. You're not excited about it, Johnny? Come on. Come on. Lars, how are you doing? Hope you're well. Yeah, Pokemon Unite, what a weird, weird, surprising um, turn of events, eh? I was... Did we just set the Trick Room? I think we just set the Trick Room. We need to try and get rid of it. Actually, we could double into the, the Blastoise here. Um, but Thunderbolt, and we'll go for a... It's going to be... Do we go for a Wormwind here? Because um, Bolton's going to be physical, right? Yeah, let's go for a moment. Wow, wow, look at the damage. Sick, the damage is just sick. This isn't even Life Orb Kingdra. Imagine if this was Life Orb Kingdra. Does nothing, does nothing. Water Spot does nothing. <laughs> does nothing. <laughs> it was odd. It was odd and there were a choice of partner for creating a MOBA. Could have been better. Yeah, I don't really know too much about um, the uh, the developer. A lot of people are saying they're quite good, but like I'm not really like in the know with that sort of game, so I'm not like the one to ask. I will take your word on it. Wow, look at that thunder! But the Rhyperia was questionable, but right now the Rhyperia feels like the best thing to have. Yeah, my opponent's like, what? Why is there a Rhyperia with the ring team? It's just muddy water. We should get the win. Uh, 
Romy, I did get a new phone yesterday. Finally upgraded from my iPhone 7 to an iPhone 11. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. I like, I like. iPhone 11 is a sick phone. Sick phone. I wish I had an iPhone 11. I'm stuck with the XR for a while. All right, good game to my opponent. Nice way for us to kick off tonight. Um, What's going on in chat, guys? Matt, how are you doing? I'm doing good, man. Bit tired today. It's so hot today here. It's like ridiculous. It's been like 30 here in Bristol. It's unheard of. But um, other than that, man, I'm doing good. Bit disappointed with the Pokemon presents today. I mean, in a way, I'm not disappointed that like that's what the project is. I'm just disappointed that we didn't get uh, Diamond and Pearl. I was really, really hoping. I really convinced myself that that's what we were getting. And it didn't happen. And uh, yeah, I'm a bit sad about that. But other than that, I hope you're doing well as well. Johnny, I'm not very much of a MOBA fan. Uh, they said the type of matchups aren't going to be in. Removing the only thing that could have been different in the game. Similar, I guess so, yeah. So now it's just Le League of Legends with Pokemon sprites. Pretty much. Pretty much. And you catch wild Pokemon. <laughs> or so it said in the trailer, right? Oh, it's less about the ability of the developer, more about the selling user info to China. Ah, okay, that makes way more sense. In Romy, it's just a large phone. It's so big. But the camera on it is, like, insane. The camera is amazing. Okay, what are we doing here? Because we've got, we've got little Tokol. Is that solar power or dry skin? Are they trying to fool us? Uh, I don't feel like rain's so great against good old Lapras here. Rhyperia. Rhyperia Trick Room mode's pretty nice. Um, hmm. Could we go Amoongus? Could we go Kingdra? Could we go Politoed and go Rhyperia as well? This seems really, really janky. But it does give us the ability to switch here if we want into Politoed and then potentially put uh, Lapras to sleep. But Lapras is going to max, isn't it? I mean, it's a bit of a mind game, isn't it? I mean, we go to Politoed, we max. What's coming in now? It's going to be the Heliosk, isn't it? And it's going to have what? It's going to be dry skin. Um, do we just get some big damage onto the Lapras? Mm, no, nah, I'm going to go water absorb into the Torkoal. This day and then it's done. Yeah. Oh, they're keeping the Torkoal in. Okay. Phil, how are you doing, my friend? Hope you're doing good. Just sent a raid. <laughs> yeah, they come, man. Thank you so much, buddy. I will pass this on at the end of my stream for sure and share the love around. Really appreciate it, dude. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Um, I didn't get a chance to see what you were playing today on stream. We're just hitting the hard rain today, giving it a go. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, if we can get rid of Whimsicott, we just win with Perish Song, right? Like, that easy. I'm going to double Wimmy because it's likely sashed. And it's going to tailwind here. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, they're smart. Smarter than we thought. Um, I'm, I'm... Okay, 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 okay. Max Lightning. We could get the Perish now on the Lapras. That will definitely help us out and go for the airstream into Wimmy. And then I was playing Perish Trap with the Lola Marowak. Nice, man. Nice. I like a lot. Wow. What? How did the, how did the Wimmy? What was that? Uh, the Wimmy took that like a champ. Okay, that is a bulky Wimmy with, with Leech Seed. I'm confused. Okay, well, we got the Perish up. Uh, we've got the Speed Boost as well. We do have 100% accurate Hurricane. The Whimsicott's definitely going to um, protect here. We could be cheeky and bring in Amoongus for Politoed and uh, pull a double switch. Wait there, wait there, wait there. Back, 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 back. Let's switch to Amoongus. Let's switch. Who brings in Rhyperia versus the Lapras? No one. Is it going to work out? Is it working out? Freeze dry. Yeah, that, I mean, that's not so bad, right? Now we kind of force their hand a little bit. So they, they're they going to have to switch at some point. So, um, we'll just spot. Uh, the electric terrain is still up. So we need to be a little bit conscious of that. Um, we could switch back into Politod. 
and I mean we just actually we just rage powder and we just rock slide confuse ray but I am confused I am confused <laughs> I didn't realize we got a weakness policy proc as well there so they like they either go down or they either switch so that's 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 how it's gone and shut Shosh Taco Lynch, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, I'm super sorry if I uh, butchered that name there. I'm not the, the best with usernames. Uh, okay. Right, well, terrain does end this next turn. So, I mean, we switch to Todd, and I think we just attack and sack Rhyperia, right? And go, yeah. Okay, Glade gonna come in. And then we've got... Oh no, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> this is not what we wanted, the beat of Galade in the back. Okay, well we get a good amount of damage onto it. Uh, thing is, there's no Tailwind, so we're kind of alright with um, Kingdra coming in. So I think we just protect Polly here, we, we just sack Rhyperia, try and get an Iron Head onto this Galade. I think we're going to lose Rhyperia though. Yeah, Psycho Cut. Okay. Uh, we bring in Kingdra. We'll go for a Hurricane into the Glade. Although, although, I think... Oh, this is tricky. Because if the Glade protects and the Lapras goes freeze-dry, then Kingdra is gone. We could just do this. Get rid of... Oh, we could... Mm. Well, the Hurricane get rid of the, the Lapras. It should, right? It should. It's Scald and... Hurricane the Lapras. Should get rid of it. Yeah, it does protect. They're going to try and snipe the Kingdra here. We don't get it. We need the confusion hit. Do we get it? No, we don't get it. Ah. Just not as white as your nickname has the bacon. I hate it so much, Lee. <laughs> it's from the... Um, okay, we were in a really bad situation here. I mean, we're not entirely. Because, well... Problem is, we can't do very much with Amoogus. If we had Protect here, it would be a little bit easier. Because um, the Freeze Dry just beats us. Hmm. Hmm. I think we lose this. I think we lose this. And we can't really... We've got to rely on... Um... Yeah, we lose this. We lose this. We lose whatever happens. We get a berry proc, but I don't think we've got a way to uh, to beat the Lapras. Um, actually, we are slower than Lapras. Um, we could protect. Let's try and win this. And we need some thunder misses. Okay. We need we needed to hit itself in confusion. I don't know why it's not freeze drying us. Let's go in for the confusion. Ray. Okay. We can get the Parish. Okay, so we just need a few turns, and then we can do this. Come on, Todd, you can do this. Come on, Polly Todd. We get one Protect. Snap out Confusion the next time. Come on. I don't want to even risk if it's Water Absorb. <laughs> I've got a horrible feeling it might be. Uh, okay, we need to just attack here or survive. That's all we need. We just need to attack or survive. Let's see if it's Water Absorb. No, it's not water absorb. Do we get the burn? Right, we just need to snap out the confusion. Come on, and we've got this. Come on, come on, come on, protect. Confusion ends! You get the protect! <laughs> K-God! Really good game. There we go. Okay. The streak carries on. <laughs> that was too close. We should have we should have won that a little way better we could have we could have made better moves there um johnny have you ever played D? I d i haven't i haven't ever played D, d no mate i would i would like to though i'd love to i'd always love to get involved hey nigel how are you doing mate i hope you're well right we got aj mega san san true san true playing umbrian indeedy drapian venusaur salazzle taurus what on this team has got like a, a really high crit move? 
Hmm. Does Salazzle have something that can, like, crit stuff with? I don't know. I'm worried about that. I'm worried about the Taurus, the anger point. Um, I don't really know what they do against Rain, though. So we'll go with that mod. Hmm. And then what are we going to have in the back? P2 Rhyperia seems like a pretty solid back mod, like, especially if Venusaur's not in the picture. Um, and even then, like, Talonflame's not bad, it's just a psychic train that's kind of putting me off bringing Talonflame. Let's go P2 Rhyperia, let's see. Is P2 or Dusclops generally better for Rhyperia? I think Dusclops is probably generally better for Rhyperia. Uh, I would, I would say so. Um... I just love P2 in general, and because it's new, I was like, ah, we'll stick it in as a trick room mode in this team. I probably would like to try it out with Dusclops in this team. I think it gives it like a little bit of a different dimension with the ghost typing as well. Um, what kind of fake nerd are you? Ever, never played <laughs> Dungeons and Dragon. Okay. I mean, I am a bit of a fake nerd, but I am a true hard nerd, really, because if you came to me right if you came to my door right now a bunch of you came to my door and were like right we're playing Dungeons and dragons i'd be like where's my costume <laughs> i know you don't dress up i know you don't i'm just messing around but i would get involved i would get involved okay umbrian and indeedy um snarl i reckon snarl umbrian do we just get rid of the indeedy i don't want to help in hand because i feel like Uh, no. Oh, we just muddy watered. Why are we why are we misclicking like this? Okay, light screen. We we allowed them to do it. Focus energy. Okay, that's where that's how they're doing it. Quick attack. Okay, we're screwed. We're screwed. We're screwed. Barbie girl. Hey. Um. Okay. We are we're screwed. We should have maxed that turn. Um. We've got to start helping her. Uh, do we? I mean, we forget. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we need to help her and Kingdra. I mean, we're going to give them the opportunity to. Right. Let's go after the Umbrian. Focus energy. They're going to foul play us. The baton pass. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no. No, this is not what we need. Um, mm. <laughs> Fair play to my opponent. Right, Let's perish. And are we are we perishing too early? Are we just are we retreating? We're we gonna something's getting to the kingdom is going down here. I think. Um, we could get a uh, we could get a burn. We could get a burn on Drapion. We could. And we could go for an airstream just to give Todd a little bit of a, a leg up on this. Okay. Are we target right? They don't follow me. Wow, it does nothing. Does nothing. Come on, Todd. Yeah. Great. Well, we are done for. Okay, well, we get the burn. That definitely helps us out. Um, P2 and Rhyperia can close this one out for us, I think. Um, do we need... Or do we just perish here? I kind of don't want to perish right now. Um, I'm just going to scold again into NDD and I'm going to set the trick room up. Yeah. Hopefully P2 takes this. Yeah, okay. Okay. My free, how are you doing, my friend? I hope you're well. Callback, thank you so much for the follow. Hopping in and enjoying the stream tonight. Hope you enjoy it. Um, we're up against crazy Baton Pass Umbrian Drapian team. Uh, okay, Light Screen's got one more turn. Trick Room's got up. Um, okay. Kind of need to get Rhyperior onto the field. Could we do that now, do you think? I just don't want to switch into Max Darkness. I'm going to go for the right period and I'm going to just recover. Let's see what we get. Please go for the P2. Because P2 will take this like a champ. Good. Okay. These crits are unreal. Um. Alright. We've got a Trick Room up. 
that's ended. There's no reflect, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, okay. Do we rock slide or do we? Like, this is where Dusclops would be good because then we can self proc our weakness policy. Let's go high horsepower into Drapion and go for another recover on P2. There's a follow me. Makes sense. Okay. There's a weakness policy gone, but we don't necessarily need it. This is Venusaur, it's going to be tricky. I might need to switch. Okay, it's Umbrian. What's the last one? Have we seen the last one? So we've had Indeedee, Umbrian, Drapion. Okay, we'll go for the high horsepower here. I think they still got one more Pokemon, haven't they? Oh, special defense drop. Is it worth switching in Politoed just to preserve? I think, yeah, we'll do that. I want to get rid of the Spit F drops. Okay, high horsepower should get Drapion now. That's fine. Okay. It is it is the Venusaur. Um Ah, we can perish. We can perish. We can No 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 no. We attack. We attack. We go rock slide and uh we should get a perish off. And then P2 can win this out. Can we get the flinch? Come on, get flinches. Okay, that's fine. That's super fine. Uh, we set the Trick Room up. We protect with Todd. We got this. We got this. Perish winning out again. So why Todd's so good. Like, Todd just pulls you out of the mire sometimes with Perish. Okay, helping hand. There's some ASMR. How are you doing? I hope you're well. Thanks for joining the stream. I can never get my tongue around your username ufc fan hope you're doing well my friend thanks for hoping and join the stream tonight uh see how much an ice beam does and a skull oh helping hand plus one ice beam it's not gonna get venus or is it it doesn't really matter at the minute doesn't matter we've got this it's a nice chunk of damage though doesn't it Todd too strong helping hand giga drain tanks it like a champ. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're fine now, aren't we? Just get rid of the Venusaur and get rid of the Umbrian. And we didn't even need the Perish. But it's all worked out fine, hasn't it? It's all worked out all right. <laughs> the freeze for the lols would have been great. It would have been good, Johnny. Would have taken the, the edge off this, this victory, though, I feel. Um, but yeah. I think it's probably going to get, like, the higher we kind of climb up the ladder, I think it's going to get a lot more tricky to play Rain the higher we go. I would expect that. Um, I think a lot of the higher ladder teams will be way more prepared for Rain. Um, so we'll, it'll be interesting to see how, how players are kind of um, combating it. Because it was interesting the other night. I think the the big thing I took away from playing uh, the the Hat and DD uh, team the other night was um, how players were using like Crocodile uh, Magnezone to quite good effect against against that call. Um, even though Marowak just absolutely shone on Monday. Um, I love Marowak. I didn't realize as well. I didn't realize. I totally forgot. So I came out the stream and I sat down late Monday night and I was like, okay, I'm going to breed myself and a lot of Marowak. So I um, I got one off one of the traders in the Isle of Armour. I was like, right, stick that in the daycare, put a good ditto in with it, put the items on it, and I just run around. Out pops a Kanto Cubon. And I'm like, I'm so confused. And I was like, it's all right. It's all right. I need to put the Everstone on Marowak, of course. That's how we do it. So do that, take them out, put the Everstone on Marowak. And then, um, obviously try again. Another egg pops out, another Kanto Cubone. And then I'm like, okay, I'm doing something wrong here. This is definitely possible, right? Good game to my opponent. Um, so I, I look on Cerebi, and of course, it, it can only get a lol in Marowak if it's born in a lol so it's impossible so you can only get them as gift it's going to be so difficult to get a zero speed IV one in this for this I just don't see how it's possible and you can't trade a Marowak and get like the same stats back a lol in Marowak to the the traders 
which is super annoying. So it's going to take a lot of grinding to get a lot of grinding. Yeah, thanks, Nigel. I should have probably hit the timer a little bit sooner. Although you wouldn't have got to hear my really interesting Alolan Marowak story. Uh, okay, what we got? Cobble Iron. Interesting Pokemon. Definitely this format. Um, Amoongus, Talonflame, Rillaboom, Lapras, Tita. I kind of like the look of this team. It's it's It looks like it can do a lot of different things. You've got the Trick Room kind of cover with the Amoongus. Uh, all, kind of with Rillaboom, Tita. Uh, and Lapras, really. And then you've got a really good Tailwind mod with the Lapras uh, Talonflame there. Hmm. But is this one where we bring Talonflame? Maybe. Just for the Amoongus. Um, either that or I think I still think Porygon 2 Rhyperia could be good here. Got to be careful about the Cobbleine, but it's not the strongest of attackers. Um, Midnight Collipede, how are you doing, Craig? How are you? Thanks for joining the stream, guys. Hope you enjoyed tonight. So, Lapras Rillaboom. Let's kick. Let's get rid of the Rillaboom and the now stream. It's gone Grassy Glide. Wow, that does a lot. That's a lot. That's Scarfed Rillaboom. Scarfed Rillaboom. Yeah, UFC fan, one week until Series 5 is out. I can't wait, man. It's going to be awesome. Uh, this is this is awkward. I um, think... Oh, they, they're going to just predict us here, I think, and just double tap the Politod. Oh. Now, we go after Talonflame. Or are they just going to Tailwind Max and then go after Kingdra? Um, hmm. Brave Bird will take Kingdra down, for sure. Can we just... Uh, I kind of... I would like to get some damage onto the Lapras if we can. Uh, let's go Wormwind. Because Tailwind, we still get the speed jump on it, so that's fine. Get some decent damage there. Okay, we lose Kingdra, that's fine. They still got their max. We should get the Talonflame now with Polly. Sash. Okay. This isn't the worst. Okay. P2 in. Another one. Four weeks to freeze dry. I see. I know, right? Yeah. Lapras is still really relevant, I think, even with the changes. Like, GMAX Lapras, I don't think it's going away anytime soon. Oh, this is true, Muffy. Yeah. Um, most people that do. Have uh, have played 17, probably have that zero speed whack. I just meant if you were solely getting it in uh, Isle of Armor. So, yeah, it would be pretty bust. Um, they have to they have to go after the the uh, the P2 here. There's no way they get it, I don't think. Okay. Will it wasp? Freeze dry. Okay, well, we get the... Huh. Um get the scald because then we can just if we get this then we can just go the perish song route the next thing so we just need to get the talent flame here get a bit of damage onto the lapras and then we can perish song again and craig i have so many safari ball mons to transfer nice nice safari ball now obtainable although the odds are like ridiculous to get one from the Kramomatic, right <laughs> okay there's zero of Veil up, that's fine, because I think this next turn, Tailwind's still up for my opponent, gives us the opportunity to get, yeah, this is fine, we can get, um, I think we just Skull, yeah, we just Skulled, uh, no, sorry, we go for Perish Song, and, um, hmm, got right here in the back, haven't we, yeah, yeah, we Perish, I just got that Thunderbolt. Might lose Pori here. Okay. That's nice. Close combat. Sword stance. That makes it a little bit trickier. Okay. Um. I 
think we use this turn to attack Cobalion. Or Cobalion. And then protect the next turn. Yeah, because they're resonance now. The freeze dry will get Politoed probably. If we can get a burn here, that helps us out massively. No burn. Secret Sword does take us down. Right. Hmm. <sighs> we can get Cobalion. And Lapras maybe here. Sacred Sword will probably get Rhyperia though, won't it? Um, I mean, we could help in hand. Rock slide. It's risky, but we did, we will get the Lapras here if we get it. We hit it. Yeah, okay. This should get the Lapras. Yeah, okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. This is fine. And now Rhyperia just wins. Because uh, we just double protect. We don't even... We're just going to play the Coward's route and do this. Win on the Perish. Yeah. Good game, dude. Nice team. Sword Stands Club Lion. Nice. Really nice. Okay, chat. What's going on? Uh, Craig's going to bring all of these Safari Ball Mons over. How long is that going to take, dude? And how? which gen is that from? Is that from, like, Gen 2? Okay. What we got up next? Some question marks. Uh, we got Urshifu and Galarian Slowbro. Um, I like Glare and Slowblot a lot. Um, I just got a Regenerator one today. Um, so I'm looking, I'm definitely looking to breed it. But Quick Draw is quite an interesting ability as well. It's like a Quick Claw, isn't it? I don't know what the activation rate on it is. Um, okay, wheezing an issue for getting our rain up for sure. Um, but I still think rain's going to be quite good regardless here. Um, I'm still going to go Poly Kingdra because they're helping hand. Mm, how do we do? Do we? I think my period is going to be really, really good. I mean, we could go Talon Kingdra. Mm. We're just going to have to set our rain up ourselves. That's the only thing. Urshifu. P2. Rhyperia. Let's go for that. Urshifu Talonflame. Okay. Well, we can get Urshi. Will it max, though? That's, that's the thing. And I think we got Geyser into Talonflame. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we're going to see Miltank come in. We're going to see a Tailwind, potentially. No, Dual Wing Beat. Okay. Wow, that's super fine. Right, we get our rain up. We don't need to worry about Vzing anymore. Uh, yeah, I think we've got this, to be honest. With Brave Bird now, just tanks that. We get the Geyser into the Marowak, and we got the Max. Well, we've got Talonflame and Kingdra for um, Urshifu when it pokes its head back in. It is going to max, so it's probably good that we double it, I think, with Brave Bird. And Hurricane. How does Quick Draw work? Because I'm not, like, I haven't looked. I know it just activates like Quick Claw. That's about as far as, 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 far as I know. Do you get the double up into it? Ooh, I don't think we're going to get the KO. Oof. Oh, it's so close. Probably gets us. No. Marowak gets us, though. Yeah. Okay. Um, right, we Trick Room and we Protect. Can we... Uh, I don't think this is the best play. Oh, okay. I was worried there that they're going to double into. Oh, we got the... Where's the Urshifu gone? Did it get go down to recoil? Okay. I'm a little bit confused. Uh, it's Ice Beam. I'm super confused. I thought the Urshifu was still in the field. Like, it would have been a bad play to protect in front of it, to be honest. 
Ah, uh, from the sand. Okay, that makes sense. Good game to my opponent. Okay. Right. Okay. Have you guys got any, like, Pokemon that you've seen in Series 5 that you kind of would like to see featured? Because we'll be doing the same on Friday. It's just... I've got stuff I can easily put together to try out because it's it's just going through the decks and seeing like this Pokemon's super interesting, this one is, this combination will work really nice and I'll just throw it together but if there's Pokemon or cores or archetypes that you guys would like to see, um, just shout them out in the chat and we'll definitely try them out on Friday or into next week. Okay so Talonflame, Duraludon, Crocodile, Wimmy, Rillaboom and Urshifu. This is super heavy Trick Room. Uh, Tailwind, isn't it? I mean, this is this makes me want to bring my Trick Room mod, for sure. Um, that's max speed Duraludon, that could be a bit tricky. Mm. I mean, Duraludon in general is quite tricky. I mean, we could just go P2. Hmm, we got Talonflame here, or Amoongus, P2 Amoongus isn't bad, Rhyperia, and then, and Talonflame in the back, yeah, okay. Uh, I don't really know what they do to kind of stop the Trick Room, there isn't really too much, we might lose Amoongus here, but I mean, I don't know if we will. Uh, Crocodile. Luigi, how are you doing? I hope you're well, my friend. Porygon Z. Porygon Z. That's an interesting one, for sure. I think it's definitely not the first thing I would think of. Um, but it's a scary Pokemon when you're facing down against it. Especially with, like, a scarf or something. And Johnny, I'm more interested in hearing what's the deal with Crocodile Magnus on countering hat teams. Yeah, I'll have to get the have to get I'll have to watch the stream back and we'll uh, we'll have a look at that. We could actually try that. Wow. Wow. Look at how fat Amoongus is. <laughs> Amoongus is just so fat. So chunky. Best Pokemon ever. Alright, let's get ripe in. Talonflame. Okay, Encore. No! Oh, we don't like that. We'll have to go for the Trick Room again. Um, do we just max? I'm not really too worried about the Talon Flame, like, at all. Um, we go Steel Spike or Rockfall will get rid of the Wimmy, so we kind of deny anything else. Fake Tears and everything. Okay. Now we need to get P2 out of here. And we need to go after the Wimmy. So let's switch into... Um, <clears throat> Did we sack our own Amoongus? I don't feel great about doing that. But I mean, Talon's going to go after P2 for sure. We might get... Like, they might switch it out. Maybe. We'll go for the Steel Spice. Get the defense boost. But at least it gives us an opportunity to get P... P2 back in. Yeah, Moongus, sorry. Okay, P2 back on the field. We've still got plenty of turns of Trick Room left, and we got one turn of our max. PZ is a monster. You should totally use it. Okay, well, we might. We might see it Friday. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, like, like, I'm super not convinced by PZ. Like, I know it's good. I know it hits hard. But, at the same time, I'm like, is it that is it that good? Is it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I could just be talking rubbish. Um, no, we attack. We attack. We attack. Do we just get rid of the talent flame here? Or do we just leave it? Because it's not really posing much of a threat. Kind of go off the Urshifu. Get Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Max Quake. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, Duraludon coming in. Bye bye. We still got a trick room up. And um, we've got talent flame of our own in the back. So I think we're gonna be alright. How are you doing, Will? Thanks for hoping in join us tonight. Hope you are doing well. Um yeah, we just rock slide. 
Thunderbolt, I think. Yeah. I mean, we could just, well, we could Ice Beam in case we get the Freeze, I guess. But we missed the Urshifu, but we get the Talonflame, that's all that matters. We get a bit of damage onto it as well. That's ideal, because then the Brave Bird will be able to get it. Surgeon Serve. Does proc our weakness policy, but it does take us down as well at the same time. Um, and then we'll get Talon in. So, uh, yeah, we wrap this one up pretty easily with a Brave Bird. Does protect. Luckily, the sand kind of stopped there as well. So, that's good for us. Polyrath. I like that idea. Chris, how are you doing, my friend? Adaptability Life Orb, Max Strike, Hyper Beam is going to be nasty. Yeah. Especially with like Wimmy. I think if you've got it next to Wimmy, you probably need, if you're playing that set, you definitely need Wimmy. You need like the instant speed control. Talonflame kind of works in that, the same respect as well. Um, Polyrath is definitely something I'm interested in. I feel like it's like, it's so tough on Politod because like Politod for how many generations has wanted like close combat and all these other like physical type attacks that are actually genuinely good. And it finally gets them in Gen 8 and then the same time it's released into the format, Urshifu pops up with the same typing, and it's like, yeah. <laughs> it sucks. It sucks to be Polyrath. There needs to be a meme. There's probably already been one made. If there's not, make one, guys. Make one. Uh, all right. So we've got the little blue dude, Thor Thor's, uh, Thor's brother. What's he called again? I can never remember. Always surprises me because he hits like a truck. Uh, Togekiss, Gyarados. Raichu, Tokol, Excadrill, and Blue Guy. Get my boy Blue. Um, all right, what are we doing? Sork, there we go. Thank you, Will. <laughs> the Blue Dude. It is the Blue Dude. Okay. My boy Blue. Right. Raichu, Gyarados. <sighs> Gyarados is it? A... Gyarados is a pain. Go P2, here we are, Politod. let's do this, okay. You just switch in the rain? What do we trick room? They've not really got, I mean they have got a trick room answer in Torkoal, but not that great, is it? Um, let's max, let's geyser into, do they airstream though? This is, uh, this is, this is where it's tricky because Togekiss probably takes the attack without us. I mean, hmm. We need the help and hand boost. That's what we need. I mean, we could trick room switch in Rhyperia. That's definitely an option. Let's, let's do that. This could go horribly wrong. Okay, not so wrong. Still take a chunk of damage though, but it's not the worst. Let's. Mm, do we need to max? We probably do. Um, let's rockfall, toggle kiss. Do we switch now? Or we just ice beam. Let's just yeah. Let's just double tap. Let's just double tap the um, toggle kiss. Let's do that. Cobra Kai never dies. <laughs> Didn't they do like a series on, was it like Netflix or Amazon Prime? Like it was like a continuation of um, like Karate Kid, like so many years on with like the original guys in it or something. Like someone was telling me about that. I've never seen it. Okay, Sork making its appearance. Focus Blast Raichu as well. How much did that do? 20%. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, let's max quick the sork. Let's go an ice beam into the chew. Ah, it was net. It was YouTube, but Netflix just bought it. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Sork maxes, but the sork is too weak. The Rhyperia is too strong. Is this our last turn of? No, we got one more turn of max, right? Ah. Uh, Himantha, very good game. Okay, the blue guy does nothing. Shame. Um, and it is amazing, go watch it. Okay, dude, 
On your recommendation, I will watch it. I will watch it. Yeah, the blue dude does get sturdy, doesn't it? He's probably playing in a focus. Gets that as well, right? Talk. Okay, so here we go. Expanding force stuff. We've got Hat and Deedee, Snorlax, Amoongus, Dusclops, and Dragapult. This is a scary team. It's heavy trick room for sure with potentially like weakness policy Dragapult there with the Shadow Sneak on the Clops. At least that's what I would kind of expect going into team preview here. Um, you've got so many different modes as well. You've got like Indeedy Snorlax. You've got Hat and Deedee. You've got Dusclops, uh, Dragapult, Moongus Dragapult. Ugh. Let's just go rain. Let's not worry about what they're doing. Let's just try and throw some stuff again. If the trick room goes up, we're all right. We've got room service in Moongus, so we're, we're kind of all right in that respect. And then, um, do we want P2? Ooh, P2. Let's go P2. And Chris, instantly in my top five of all time series. No way, dude. That's a huge statement. That is a huge statement. That's massive. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Honestly, I hope they put our kingdred to sleep. I hope they put our kingdred to sleep. Yeah, you do this. You do this. Put our kingdred to sleep, please. Uh, let's max Geyser into NDD. Go on, follow me. No? Okay, expanded force. Spore. Yes. It's alright. It's alright. There we go. There we go. And Chef M, thank you so much for the follow and for joining us tonight. I hope you're well. I hope you enjoy the stream with us all. Krim, how are you doing, mate? Where you at on the ladder? Oh, mate, we're probably quite low down. We started this all on Monday and we've just been carrying on since then. So I wouldn't imagine super high up. Um, okay. Let's go Scald into Ndidi. Let's go wastefully Max God to get rid of this Ndidi. While Amoongus tries to spore us again. <sighs> okay. Okay. Mm, help in hand. Yeah, it's, true. it's obvious. Are they going to keep the Amoongus in? Yeah, that's fine. That's super fine. We get rid of the Amoongus, we can perish the next stop. Ah. Okay, not so good. Dragon Dance. Hmm. They're gonna darts here. And we got our own Amoongus in the back, so it's not the end of the world. But um, do we perish and protect. Yeah. Ah, uh, they're gonna. Yeah. Okay. Max Kingdra. Okay. Oof. Oof. We do have the speed boost still, so we can get rid of the Amoongus, right? So I think we get rid of Amoongus here. We switch Politoed into our own Amoongus. We nuke the opposing Amoongus with Hurricane. We should still get the jump on. Yeah. Okay, this is fine. Now, Dragapult goes down. We just got one Pokemon to deal with. As it airstreams to get the boost, but still, it could be worse. It could be worse. Depends what their last Pokemon is, for sure. Go back into Politoed. Okay, it's Hat. Ah. Do I just sack Kingdra here? Hmm. I think I protect. Double protect, yeah. We'll double protect here. See what they do. They're going to take down Kingdra regardless. No, they go Wormwind into Politoed, so that's super fine. Dazzle. The only issue is... Oh no, well, yeah. Okay. This is alright. Maybe we need we need some sleep turns, I think, on Amoongus to win this. Um, They got Dragon Darts here, I'd imagine, and Dazzle again. So if we... Oh, we got P2. That's way better. Okay. Yeah, let's do that and let's attack with Kingdra and Muddy Water. Let's just do that. Let's attack boost. 
Oh, we actually have speed the Dragapult still. I'm surprised by that. It's a bulky, bulky Dragapult. Okay. Uh, we're okay. Oh, the Trick Room. This is why we needed Amoongus. This is why we needed Amoongus. Okay. <laughs> if we had room service, it would be fine. I think we're going to be all right anyway with, with P2, to be honest. Um, Ice Beam and Scald. We're all right. Yeah, we're super fine. Thick boys are going to pull through. There we go. P2, no worries. Okay, good game to my opponent, and we'll carry on. Okay, I really like this build. I feel like it's good. I was really, like I was saying on Monday, I put this together before the stream on Monday, and I was like, I don't, like the Rhyperior in my head makes a lot of sense for the stuff that we're going to struggle against. And it's like a backup mode that we can just bring in, and we know how good Rhyperior is in Trick Room. Uh, from previous series, but it still doesn't sit right with me, but it seems to be kind of working Although I feel like it's still not the right Pokemon to be there uh, Right, we got Scissor and Didi Sableye, which is kind of weird because they super conflict each other with how they operate Let me just bring one not the other Venusaur Blastoise could be G-Max and Alakazam So Alakazam and Didi definitely gonna be a big big threat for us but I mean still rain for us is still going to be very good um got to be careful about Sableye with sunny day which is probably their tech against rain um good luck have fun you too right okay Politoed Kingdra uh we'll go with that lead and then do I want Talon here do I want I think I just want P2, and it's whether or not I want, mm, probably want Rhyperia, to be honest. Talon, Talon could be good, because it just picks things like Venusaur or Alakazam off. P2 on its own can kind of deal with the majority of this team. Yeah, let's go Talon, let's go Talon. Tell this guy that I'm playing right now, Johnny, that Johnny Hack says hi, okay. Johnny, he's gonna think that you're with me. This is weird. This is the last time I'm doing anything for you, Johnny. <laughs> this is gonna like, this is gonna be weird. Yeah, I think um, Save Life Vino feels free for them, 100%. Um, okay, well, hop in hand, attack. What are they going to do with Blastoise? Are they going to Shell Smash? I don't think they can. I don't think they got the room to. And then the Max. I haven't played a G-Max Blastoise yet, so I'm kind of cute. Wow. Thick. Okay. Wow. Okay. That combo doesn't really help each other out too much. Um. Okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> hey Will, how are you doing? You like the worm wind file play combo? I love the I love that. This Blastoise is super fat. Um no we need to uh we need to we need to go after the Sableye. Gun quash now, which makes sense. Yeah, it's gonna get rid of us. Okay. That Blastoise is scary, scary, scary strong. Um, we've got Max guys that's to contend with now. Uh, I don't think we can win this. To be honest, like I honestly don't think we can really do anything. Um, I mean, Trick Room, and it's Encore, and that's fine, because we're going to scold it anyway. We get a lucky crit, guy. Okay, G-Max Cannonade. It's not doing the biggest amount of damage, but it's the residual damage chip afterwards. Wow, okay. Um, now we've got the Encore, which is not ideal. Hmm. Do we just scold? and then bring in Talon. If we can 
break the sash on Vinu, that helps us out a bunch. We'll recover as well. Yes, gold. That's super fine. Just need to break the sash on that thing. Because I think P2 will beat Blastoise one on one. Okay. Ah, the poison is not ideal. Especially not with that. Um. I think we go for a Thunderbolt into Blast, so let's try to just get as much damage as we can onto it. Oh god, that is so fat. So fat. It's assault, it's gotta be assault vest, sleep powder as well. Not ideal. I mean, yeah, this is just nasty, isn't it? This is nasty. <sighs> I'm just like, what do we do against this? Nada, nothing. Um we try a perish, but it's not really going to help us out at all now, is it? Sleep powder? Yeah. I mean, maybe. I mean, they still got one Pokemon in the back, so that we've got no chance. Let's just cut our losses and say GG. That, that is a very fat Blastoise. Good game to my opponent. Nothing we could do from that position. Wow, I didn't expect the Blastoise to take the, the attack so well there. Right, okay, we got Rotom. This is like more current stuff, what we've got in the format at the minute. So Rotom, Togekiss, Excadrill, Dragapult, RK9, and the Grim Snarl. Um, hmm. Let's go Poly Kingdra. P2, Rhyperia. I mean, the two modes don't really seem like they can't deal with more stuff. I think the Rotom's going to be a bit annoying to deal with, but... Um... Do we perish right now and just... and just muddy water? Why don't we just double tap the... I really want to get rid of the Togekiss. That's my big thing. I want to get rid of the Togekiss because of the, the Rotom's going to nasty plot, right? I just wonder if it's if we'd be better off keeping P2 Rhyperia for our, like, Max Mons. Yeah. If we get, like, any accuracy drops, that's huge for us as well. Yeah, there's a nasty plot. Craig, in some ways I'm glad Politoed doesn't get life due. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if it did? <laughs> right. Is it time to switch? Or is it time to max? Oh, just help in hand. Help in hand, muddy water. Yeah, we'll just do that. I mean, that's a such fat damage to Rotom, right? Okay, Polly, gone. That's... That's alright. I don't mind that too much. Let's get P2 in. The okay, Grim Snarl. I think we get Rot <laughs> Rotom's gonna max here, for sure. We could just get a Draco onto it. And just... I mean, Rotom probably goes max Geyser into P2, right? Has the light in that, doesn't it? Hmm. Let's attack. I don't want to max though. I think I just go for a Draco. Yeah, let's go for a Draco. Okay, that's fine. It's not maxing yet. That's super fine. Now we get a Trick Room up for free. Okay, and now we can get and, and like the Parish is going to end the next turn, so they're not going to max it. What's coming in now? That's the big question. Because we could be really ballsy and max quick that slot. Uh, I don't want... Nah, I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to make the risk. I think that... Uh, it's going to be Dragapult, isn't it? It's going to be Dragapult. Let's Ice Beam it and go max Rockfall. I think that... That's fine. They max Rotom. No way. 
Well, we're not getting it now at all. Wow, yeah. Oh. They must be confident whatever they got in the back to come in and beat Rotom. Uh, beat Porygon too. Right. Um, this is going to be... A, I don't think we can win this with the Spirit Break. It's just not... Yeah. Mm, not even a T-Bolt Rock 4 would have done it there. I thought they'd switch it out, but no. Okay, well, good game to my opponent. Well played. Let's carry on. What are you talking about, Will? Focus Energy score plans on Kingdra? No, we're not playing that set. I feel like it's... You've got to spend a turn Focus Energy on Kingdra. It's a, it's a lot of setup when it's kind of a better Pokemon just to get in rain and start getting attacks off with. But if you're talking about something else, then shout up, shout up. Okay, Clefairy, Rillaboom, PZ, Marowak, Slowbro, and Togekiss. So here's your PZ, Johnny. Uh, oh, the Clefairy is an, a pain, pain to deal with. I think we'll go Amoongus. Um, Kingdra, Todd. Uh, no, we'll go Todd, Kingdra. I'm just. Mm, no, we won't. We'll go Amoongus. We'll go Amoongus, Talonflame. I don't know if I want to bring my Raincore here, to be honest. P2 and my Pyrrha might be better. We can definitely, unless PZ maxes and goes max lightning, we can definitely get the Clefairy put to sleep. Um, it might be a good idea just to U-turn out on the PZ uh, maxes. Max lightning, I think. Let's hope it does max lightning, because I'm going to bring in Rhyperia right now. Might go max hailstorm. No, oh, max strike. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Get destroyed. And Marshall Gamer, thank you so much for the follow for joining us tonight. I hope you enjoy the stream with us all. Uh PZ just wrecking us with Max Strike, just one shot on Amoongus. Okay. Let's see you get oh it's gonna help in hand, isn't it? It's gonna hundred percent help in hand into PZ. I think we got to use this turn to um, maybe max Rhyperia and try and get some damage onto Max Quake. We need the special defense boost. I could protect Rhyperia here. Oh. <laughs> That's disgusting. Okay, well we get a little bit of a, a, a chip help. We're knackered though, completely knackered. I don't think there's very much we can do. Um, try and break bird. I go for another max quake. I still don't like PZ. Like I'm still like I'm not. I never said right. Johnny in the chat saying, uh, "Guess who said doesn't feel that good." To me, it's just not my Pokemon. It's not what I would play. Instantly, it wouldn't be the first thing I think of. I didn't say it wasn't good. And I'm getting shown here. I'm getting my ass handed to me by this PZ. It's always a good Pokemon. It was good in 17. It's a dangerous Pokemon. But it's not like... it's. I mean, my mind might change with it maxing. That's It's a pretty scary thought. And this combination here next to Clefairy is obviously nasty. But, I still stand by what I said. do not feel to me like it would be something I'd want to play in this format. Just yet. <laughs> and then, like, two weeks' time, PZ is going to be everywhere. And I'm going to be, like, on this stream. PZ is, like, the best Pokemon ever. Just praising it. Eating my words. Just remind me if that happens, guys. Remind me of this moment. 
I'm not saying it's not good though. I think it's a genuinely really good Pokemon. Right, we're we're done for. We are done for. Uh, what can we do? Nothing. Nothing. I can hope they. Uh, they don't even do that. <laughs> Will's like it will happen. We'll see. We'll see. I don't think it's gonna be top a top tier Pokemon. Like I will. I that like my opinion. I don't think it's gonna be a top tier Pokemon. But I could completely be wrong. I think it'd be very good, but I don't think it's going to be top tier. But let's see, let's see. And Johnny, I feel like it's a top five mon. Really? Really? Okay, man. You know what? I'm going to be the first person to admit, like, and eat my words. I'd be happy to eat my words. If that, if it turns out to be right, like, I'm super happy. Okay, Friday, I'm going to have to test PZ. I'm going to have to test PZ on Friday now. We're going to have to get a team put together. We're going to have to throw it together and try it. Okay, we got Arcanine, Rillaboom, Titar, Toakis, uh, Duraludon, and Rotom Warship next. Hmm. I mean, our Trick Room mod, but like, P2 Rhyperia just does so much work against this team. I mean, P2 Amoongus. Huh. I mean, we could go P2 Talonflame, we force, if Rillaboom comes out as a lead, we kind of force them to fake out Talonflame or they get kind of taken down. Um, and then we have Rillaboom and Ring Amoongus. I think we leave the rain at home, this one. Now good ghost types exist. Yeah, but it, it, that solely depends on how, like, how popular the ghost types are still going to be in the new format. Um, I think it's going to be hard for ghost types to really kind of shine early format if Hat and Didi's a popular call, or even Alakazam and Didi's a popular call. It gives ghosts a real headache to kind of deal with. So whether the usage stats there go down a little bit, uh, who knows? Who knows? But yeah, you're completely right. You're completely right. If ghosts are around, then PZ has an amazing time. Gym Master Jaden, thanks so much for hopping and join the stream with us tonight. I hope you enjoy it. We have some good matches to end up on. Um, I'm literally melting in my room. So if it looks like I'm melting on camera, it is actually... It is happening in real life. Okay. Uh, Rotom. Togekiss. Set a trick room up. And... We just go for the old U-turn. Up in hand. Right. We could be really safe and just go into Amoongus here. Or we could be a little bit ballsy and go into Rhyperia and think that they're going to T-Bolt. What are they going to do, actually? Why are you helping hand in Rotom here? You don't need to help in hand Rotom. And you... I'm going to go into Rhyperia. If we lose Rhyperia to Hydro Pump... Okay, Vault Switch, that's fine. So there's our Trick Room. And that is likely to be Scarfed Rotom. I would imagine. So what we can do is double the Togekiss. Well, the Rotom is maxing. Okay, we're gonna lose a Rhyperia. <sighs> I didn't think about it maxing. Okay, well, my Mimi take it. It's not ideal, is it? Jess, how you doing, my friend? I hope you're well and having a good day. And I hope you enjoy the stream with us tonight, mate. Um, we have to double the Rotom, right? We're going to lose Rhyperia here, for sure. Oh, it's even got Max Guard with a Scarf. Okay. It's got Trick, for sure, hasn't it? Uh, okay, we bring the Moongus, we'll put this Rotom to sleep, we'll attack into Rillaboom. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing, well there is a Moongus, you know, like... Okasash, Overgrow, Woodhammer. Oh, we get the freeze as well. I don't think we need it at this point. 
but we will take it. Oh, they forfeit. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, the team's not really got the best Rotom matchup at all. Uh, like, at all. I mean, you've got a Moongus, and you really have to just work around it with, a, like, a lot of the other Pokemon, which is not really ideal. So... Um, you could replace Amoongus with Rillaboom, for sure, and then that really patches that matchup quite, quite well. UFC fan, thank you so much for the sub, my friend. We're getting very close right now to this sub goal that we've got down here for this new uh, Cub Fu emo badge. We're going to get there soon, guys. I don't know how many we need. I can't see. It's too small on my screen. Maybe like three more, is it? Three more? I don't know. We look, we look very close. Thank you so much, though, guys. Right, we've got Cherim, Tokol, Leafian. Um, Lycanroc, Whimsicott, and Mimikyu. So we got the Tailwind Trick Room switch here with Sun, Heavy Sun. Um, right, I think I'm going to lead Kingdra, Talonflame, Politoed, and... I don't want to move this. Oh, right here, right here, right here, all, all day. Right, we've got Lycanroc and Whimsicott. Um, I mean, they're going to Tailwind, right? Are they going to max Lycanroc? Because we could just max Geyser and switch. Get Politoed in. But then we have to get Politoed straight back out, I think. Okay, Celeroc. Sunny day. Okay. We get the rain back up, so that's fine. They're gonna sunny day again. Um and I think this time. Let's max air streak. Do we go into the whimmy? Because the sunny day is a bit of a problem. A little bit of a pain for us, isn't it? Um We could we could we could we could I wanna airstream. And I'm going to switch into... I don't think they have Celeroc here, do they? Or do they? I kind of want to get Talonflame in. That's the only thing. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Hmm. Bring Rhyperia in. And SMM. Fashion1026, thank you so much for the follow and for joining us tonight. I hope you enjoy the stream with us. Okay. Okay, Memento. That's interesting. They lose their sun. Unless Cherim's got sunny day, which it probably will have. Um, but we're kind of alright. No, well, it's hot. What do we go for? Just an airstream into Leafeon or Cherim. Probably better to try and chase down the Cherim while we can. Um, switch into Talonflame. I think we got this one. We might. It depends what the Leafeon starts chucking out at us, though. There's a sunny day. And Max Overgrow. Okay, that's super fine. Because we'll switch into... Hmm. Switch into Politoed. Attack Cherim. I think they might. They may protect Cherim here, but may not as well. There's a helping hand. That's fine. Because we've still got the Parish here. Craig, thanks for dropping by, mate. I hope you're well and uh, have, enjoy the rest of the evening. And you're from YouTube, dude. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming over. Really nice to have you on the, the stream with us tonight. Uh, okay. So. This is still tricky. Protect and protect. I wonder if a helping hand hurricane will get the leaf in. Wow, it does so much damage, so much damage behind the Protect. It's insane. I know it's in grassy terrain, but I think we can get this. 
Maybe Helping Hand Hurricane gets it. Let's see. If we had Life Orb, it definitely would, but we don't have the Life Orb. <sighs> okay. Well, we get lucky with a crit. I'd be interested to know if we get that anyway. Uh, good game to my opponent. Okay, friends. We've probably got time for like one more. One more. And then I do have to shoot off. I'm sorry these last two evenings have been a little bit shorter than normal. Um, just Tash has got like stuff that she has to do on an evening as well. So I can't stay in the studio for like super long time. On at least this week. So Friday we'll be in for a lot longer so we'll have a bit of a longer stream on friday uh, we'll try the pz team out as well um, but thanks so much to all of you for coming by tonight it's been it's been really awesome so i hope you've enjoyed it and at least got an idea of the team and i'll give you the paste as well so stick around before i head off uh, okay we've got hat and didi Dragage, uh lol and marowak toko and venusaur nasty so heavy sun with trick room mm. I think this could be the time room service and Moongus plays a big part in this because we should underspeed Torkoal with the room service. Um, okay, let's go at trusty Kingdra. We got talent flame. No, we don't go talent flame. Not this one. Not this time. Um, could go P2. P2 is pretty solid here, and although P2 struggles so hard against. Right, we could go Talonflame. Talonflame, I think that's still an alright option. And um, Polytod and Amoogus. Okay. Leafan has garbage special defense. Yeah, its defense is pretty good, but yeah, its spit up is pretty bad. Okay. Do we just. Do we just max Airstream into Ndidi and U-turn Ndidi as well? Let's go for that. Yeah, this is going to see the follow me. Hopefully this puts it in range now and we get a, get a rain up. I want the Venusaur to put us to sleep. I really needed to take down the Ndidi there. Okay. So, we need to do the old trick of trying to get this Ndidi. Oh, okay, it's going to switch out. Okay, that's not so good. That's really not good. <laughs> Doesn't work when there's a tall call in the back. Um, hmm. I mean, Sleep Powder could miss, right? Sleep Powder could miss. We need to try and get the rain up. Let's go to call and switch into Talon Flame. I don't think they brought Trick Room. Sleep Powder doesn't miss. Never misses. Solar Beam. Okay, that's fine. And not a few max with it, Johnny. Like, I kind of... My idea when I put Talon Flame... Um, into the team was that I wanted to max it more times than not uh, but I think I'd probably if I was going forward with the team probably change the item on Talonflame M maybe put the life orb onto Kingdra and put maybe the Lum onto Talonflame potentially or, or, or Sash there um, because I'm not maxing it as much as I thought if you max and you obviously get the priority max airstream then the life orb's a huge 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 bonus for us um, let us go muddy water and switch to Polly. Come on, get the muddy water. Come on, come on, come on. Wake up, Kingdra. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. We wake up. We need the we need the accuracy drop on the Venusaur. Get it. Come on. Even though it can't miss ever because it's a huge Pokemon. <laughs> Tolkol just comes back in. All right. Um. Is it worth protecting with Kingdra at this point? Does Venusaur just get us at plus one? Probably does even for Hunter Detect. Like, if I switch in Talonflame now, we're pretty screwed. Um, 
And I need ta I need Talon Flame. I need Talon Flame for the Venusaur. I'm gonna perish. We should take this, yeah, pretty comfortably. And I think they eruption here. Heat wave. Okay. Ah, oh, we're just outside berry range. Just outside. Weakness policy, quick attack, Kingdra. That might do some damage. Yeah, Kingdra hits pretty hard, dude. Nick Killer, how are you doing? I hope you're well, man. Thanks for hopping in tonight. Um, hmm. Did we just sack? Uh, no, 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 no. Back, 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 back. I think we sack. Let's go for Draco and switch into Talon here. We're going to double tap. I think we're going to lose Talon here. Now they go after Kingdra. That's what we want. Okay. Okay. Venusaur is not max anymore. Let's bring in Amoongus. Um, we can definitely get Venusaur if we just Brave Bird it, but I don't know if they're going to keep it in. Can we get away with this play? Is it too obvious? I feel like it is, but maybe we get it. Wow, they let us do that. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> I know, Will. I need these rules so desperately. I can't wait for the first to roll around. How is the bacon? Johnny, how is the bacon? Uh, Nick, I've been seeing Talonflame on Rain Trend. Uh, is there a reason for that? So, Talonflame gives you a nice option for Tailwind straight away and it's a great Pokemon to bring against uh, grass types like Venusaur, like Rillaboom. It does super well um, and you've got the option to max it as well which I think is really nice and it also kind of covers the fire um, typing that Rain Teams kind of miss a little bit. So there's a, plenty of reasons. It's also ground immunity as well which is super nice. Um, but the, the kind of rain core with Talonflame complement each other quite a lot. It's conflicting in a lot of ways with its uh, flying type as well. But um, mm, protect and attack into. Oh, uh, what have we done? What have we done? This is not good. We're going to lose Amoongus. I'm talking too much. I had no option. We're forcing it in. Okay. <laughs> ah. This drag Dragalga is a pain. Can we can we do this? Can we perish? Switch. And Talonflame take an attack? Okay. Mm -mm. We're going down. We don't even have okay. That works out a little bit better. Maybe not, because we can't switch, but we're going to get at least one Protect off, and we can put the Talk Call to sleep now. So we might be able to do this, maybe. Um, let's just attack into the Talk Call. Unless the Talk Call protects. Why are you protecting? Why are you protecting? Unless that's a fast Talk Call. It is. Yeah, we hang on. <laughs> like barely okay I don't know if we can do this yet though I still don't think we can do this right because we've got no protect on Amoongus that's the problem and we need Amoongus to stick around uh, we're going to have to get them to misplay and literally attack into Politod thinking that Amoongus has protect now and we can put it to sleep no, they don't do that. Okay. Now we just lose. Now we just lose. Turbo Call. It's certainly faster than Aramungus, which is min speed. Never mind. We have to go min speed with this one. It's the room service Amoongus, which we never really got working tonight, which is a little bit of a shame, but it's been a lot of fun. Right, guys, let me grab this paste for you. Like I was saying the other night, even if it's not the most comprehensive season five team that you'll ever see it's a good team for you guys just to take try rain out if you like it there might be elements of the team that you actually like um test rain series five 
So if it helps out in any way or just helps you get started in the format, that's all that matters, okay? It's a pace, my friends. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. You can change the item rounds, do what you want with it. Um, however, kind of suits your playstyle a little bit better. But um, yeah, okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna have to shoot off though, because I'm gonna get kicked out of this room otherwise, very soon. So um, thank you so much to all of you for um, coming out tonight. It's been a, a really nice stream. We'll be streaming again on Friday this week at 8 p.m. Same time as usual. We'll probably stay on a little bit longer on Friday. I'll not be getting kicked out, so it'll be really good. Jays, thank you so much for uh, the sub, my friend. 22 months. You're crazy. <laughs> thank you so much, dude. I'm sorry about that little outburst, but I really appreciate it, my friend. I really appreciate everyone coming out, though. Um, yeah, so we will be streaming Friday, probably playing a PZ team, and I will have a backup team as well. I would like to try PZ, but we'll have something else spicy to try. Uh, maybe play around with the Magnezon, Crocodile stuff as well. That could be quite fun. But I'll keep my eye on the ladder, see if there's anything that inspires me to play something and we'll feature that Friday. So I hope to see you all Friday, my friends. Have a great rest of the evening, have a good day tomorrow, and uh, I'll catch up with you all very soon. Cross last Taurus, Will. <laughs> We could do. Right, friends, I gotta go. So I will see you all later. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.